Jack, you got the goal for us today. It was a brilliant moment, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, really good. I think to go one nil up as well, like away from home. We knew how difficult it was going to be coming here. But Bradford are like a really good side. Um, but look, we done our homework during the week. We we worked on things, and um, yeah, we managed to. Go, I think we started really bright, to be fair. Um, and then to go one nil up, I think. Um, like I said, we thought we was going to kick on, and yeah. uh, everything sort of light, livened up from then on. You ran straight to our travelling support. It was a great moment for them, wasn't it? That must have been a, a wonderful moment to see the joy that you brought them. Yeah, um, I think the fans have been really good for us from even from the start of the season. Um, I mean, how much they love the FA Cup, especially I think last year, um, like playing at Swindon and the amount of support we got. And then obviously in the later rounds as well when we played Stockport and West Brom. Um, so yeah, I think as soon as we, we scored first, I thought, oh, it's going to be our day. But yeah, yeah. obviously like it wasn't to be. Not quite the hat trick today, but you do love scoring in the FA Cup, don't you? I mean, is it anything different to you? Is it more special, perhaps, the magic of the cup and all that? Um, yeah, I think for me, on a personal note, I think it's just to test myself against the teams that are obviously higher than where I'm currently at in my in my career. So um, I think I've managed to do that well enough. But uh, the FA Cup brings so many good memories, and obviously for me, like especially, it's what you what you dream of, kind of growing up playing in these competitions. Um, so no, yeah, it's just, it was a disappointing day, but um, like I said for me personally, obviously it was good to get a goal, but I'd have much rather taken getting into the next round. Yeah, as you say, a tinge of disappointment on today, obviously with the result, but you know Bradford are a team, aren't they, that are challenging for promotion in the league above. They're, they're on paper going to have better quality than us, and I guess that showed in places today, but it was a great performance really for most of it from our lads today, wasn't it? Yeah, I think for us, it's like I said, it's probably the story of our season so far. Um, you know, like I said, even when it went to one all, and we've had like I said a couple of good chances to to go back in front. Um, like I said, on another day we go and score, get ourselves in front, and probably the tire turns a little bit. Like we said, we went one 0 up first half. They were making loose passes, and we, our mem the momentum was with, like with us. It's just a case of we've got to kind of capitalise in the moments, mm -hmm. and you see, you see. From them, they they managed to kick on in that sort of last, say half hour, for, sort of forty minutes. Yeah. They sort of raised the tempo, and like I said when you go when you play teams higher up, that's what you come up against week yeah. in week out. So we kind of know where we've got to get to. Um, but today, kind of, I think showed us where we're at and where where we know we've got to try and get to to obviously do well in our in our league campaign. Half time kind of came at the wrong time for us, didn't it? As mm -hmm. you say, there we, we had the momentum, and I guess they had a, a stern team talk, maybe perhaps, and came mm -hmm. out with a bit more to show in the second half, didn't they? Yeah, I think like we even had a couple of chances to probably go two, three, and mm -hmm. up. And I think I was saying to the boys in the change room, like when you get these chances at these clubs, in, especially in the football league, you have to take them because what happens is, is they gain momentum, a little bit of momentum, they might get a goal, it lifts the crowd a little bit, um, and that's that's what teams in the leagues above can do you know they get they take you give them a little little bit of rope and they take it so it's just a case of we know that we had chances in the first half that we probably should have we should have scored to make it to make it more than one yeah. um, but I think from the first half especially we can take massive positives going into the rest of the season as well I think we've just got to make sure now that we can kick on if it's second half just to get that second wind and it comes down to you know fitness. Look how strong they are on the pitch. You know they go, they can bring players on any time, and it could just change the game. So we've got to make sure that we're all ready to kind of step up. For you personally, is it nice to have you know got your got a few starts under your belt mm -hmm. now and got that goal again today? Because it was a tough pre-season for you, wasn't it? Getting injured and then having to kind of catch up with the other lads and in terms of match fitness and stuff. But you know, hopefully you can kick on from now. Yeah, it's it's been difficult for me because I think I've. It, in terms of the squad, the squad's changed, um, you know, the formation changed uh, and I'm still trying to catch up. Mm. I think that was the main thing and like I said, I've, I've had a chat with a gaffer during like this week and just said like, he, he's told me like where he wants me to be at and kind of, you know I, know, I know what I can produce, it's just a case of I was playing catch up. Um, but now I've just got to really kick on, you know, like I said, I know what I can do on the pitch um, and I've got to try and help the boys as much as possible to get as many goals. Um, I think, like I said, there's a lot of new personnel within the team and it's going to take time to gel. You know, last season it clicked from the off, which is it's unusual. You know, it does happen sometimes, but not all the time. So I think we've got a lot of new personnel within the team and especially with a different formation. Some lads are not used to that. Um, but I think now, like I said, it's, it's a massive positive from today. And I think, like I said, we can take this now and kick on.